Hey, it's Kier. And hey, it's Tommy. And welcome to our July manga haul. Um, before we start with the haul, we wanted to first say thank y'all so much. Uh, we're so close to 900 subscribers. And we do have a big giveaway scheduled for 1,000 subscribers whenever we hit that. So keep on the lookout for that. Um, and yeah. thank you guys to those who watch our videos and those that are, that are already subscribed. Yes, for real. Thank you. We really appreciate it. And yeah, we're just having fun making these videos. Yeah, we definitely do have fun. Uh, we also have this Right Stuff box that we're going to unbox <laughs> towards the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, let's get right into this manga haul. All right. So first up is Crayon Shinchan. Crayon Shinchan. Man. And I wanted this. Uh, I guess like once I decided to get the Raymond, I decided that I wanted to get this also. <laughs> So, um, yeah, we found a full set of it on, um, well, I think it's a full set. I don't know. Yeah, actually, I, I really don't know. Um, oh, I can't, I actually, I can't open this on the, the camera. Yeah. Parental <laughs> advisory. Parental advisory. Um, this, so this is one through 10. Yeah. I don't know if it's a full set. I think it is, but like, I could be wrong. We got this on where Reddit. Yeah. Yeah. We got this on Reddit. Um, super, super happy to have this and yeah, I can't wait to read this one. <laughs> All right. So from the right stuff birthday sale earlier this month, I got grand blue dreaming i should have showed the spines first sorry i got one through 12 but for now i'm just going to show the covers for one through five i always hear a lot of great things about this series um really good comedy definitely uh they say it's similar to gto or uh, i guess that style and it's about some uh, college friends i believe and i just hear it's really good so i definitely want to check it out and yeah i hear nothing but good things about it so I'm excited for it all right next up i got lady snowblood one through four i believe this is complete and um this is written by the same mangaka as lone wolf and cub right yeah, yeah. why am i second guessing myself <laughs> but um yeah so i really wanted to pick this up whenever i saw it and yeah really really excited to have this one i really like these covers like they're the colors are giving me like kill bill vibes <laughs> yeah i was thinking that, that black and yellow too. but um yeah i love the black and yellow it looks so good and yeah super excited to have this one and get to read in this one soon speaking of the same mangaka i picked up samurai executioner volumes three four five seven and eight and excuse me Path of the Assassin, Volumes 2, 7, 9, 11, 12, and 15. Now that gives me a complete set of both of them. I'm super happy for that. Uh, volume 15 was tough to track down for Path of the Assassin, but I got it. So thankfully, these are all done now. And yeah, I think these are all the Dark Horse minis that I was looking for. So glad to have that done. All right, next up I have part of a series. The rest of them are on the way, so I don't have them yet. That is Comes Wish, Volume 1, 2, 4, and 8. And I really wanted to get this series. Um, I really liked the anime. Tommy hated the anime. Like, uh, uh, Don't get me started on it. I love this. I watched the anime weekly, and I just loved how everyone was just a piece of, like, a piece of trash in this manga, basically. Like, especially this one right here. Oh, Lord. The teacher. Um, but yeah, I really, really liked this series whenever I watched it. Um, a few years ago and yeah I definitely wanted to get them on. I think that some of them are starting to go out of print maybe yeah. or something so I wanted to pick it up while I still could so super excited for this one. Alright so I wanted to I guess expand my genres so the one thing I wanted to pick up was this manga, this manga called Eyes but uh, when I opened it it said that it's pronounced Aizu. I don't know if that's supposed to be just in Japanese or in English but I'm, I'm just gonna call it eyes for the time being. But uh, this is by the mangaka who did Zetman, and surprisingly, Zetman's not printed in English, but these two works are, so here's Aizu for now. So I thought, I was always sorta of interested in it, and I definitely will be checking this out for my romance bag in the near future. <laughs> so as you can see, I got one through 15 of eyes, and I also picked up Video Girl I, or AI, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I got volumes 1, 4, 5, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 for right now. I'm just going to show a few more. The rest of them are on the way. Yeah, they're on the way. And yeah, I'm also excited to check this out. This is by the same mangaka. And yeah, we'll see, what, uh, we'll see what's about to happen next. Next up is the manga I'm probably the most excited about this month. <laughs> and that... you say manhua. 
yeah or should i say manhwa this is the breaker and i love this story so much i was so excited when they said it was getting printed in english and i have not shut up about it mm -hmm. and i'm probably driving tommy crazy but volume one's out now and this is um like a martial arts type series um really really good um the art is really really good also um but yeah uh highly highly recommend this series if you have never heard of it um you should definitely look into getting this oh, it's so good so excited for this one and the series i'm most excited for this, picking up this month would be me and the devil blues volumes one and volume two um volume two is a little beat but that's you know just fine i hear nothing but good things about this series i heard it's I almost said wonderful. I hear it's excellent. And um, yeah, I'm definitely excited to check this out by Kira Hiromoto. Uh, what were you gonna say? I was gonna say, oh, uh, this came like highly recommended to us by one of our friends from Twitter. Yeah. Um, so that's why we decided to check it out. It just so happens a lot of other people picked it up this one too, which is kind of funny. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, yeah, shout out Zach for uh, recommending this to me. And yeah, I'm definitely gonna check this out. Probably, yeah. Maybe when this video is done, I'll check this out. Did you wanna say who Akira? Hiromoto was well I can yeah Akira Hiromoto is uh the person who wrote Prison School and Raw Hero um so I mean two well I know Prison School is really highly acclaimed for how uh, funny it is and stuff like that so definitely excited to check out his work before that all right so this month I decided I wanted to try out my first light novels so the first thing I bought was Soul Leveling but volume two um I still don't have volume one so I have not gotten to read this yet but I hear it's really good and I thought about picking up the um the other version but since I could read it on webtoon like the webtoon app I just decided like I'll go with the light novel instead so um really excited to get into this whenever I can finally get get to it but um the other one that I got and actually started is Overlord so I got volumes one and two um as you can see I'm reading volume one right now well you see my the Jigglypuff, uh, my Jigglypuff bookmark, bookmark. But um, yeah, I started reading volume one. I was really liking it. So I stopped reading it until I could get volume two and volume two just got here today. So super, super excited. These books are really, really good quality. And yeah, super excited to continue reading this one. So if you remember a few months ago, I picked up Bastard volumes three, four, and five in the left to right format that Viz did originally. And I wanted to get them in the right to left format uh, to read it like a regular manga so that they all matched and uh, yeah, so I finally did that. I picked them up and yeah, that's just an update on that for now. All right, so the next thing that I got was Scary Book. And we actually picked up volume one of this in one of our shop with me's that we went on with our friend. And um, we found volume one. And so Tommy was able to get me volume two and three. And this is by Cosmo Mez, who does the Drifting Classroom. And um, they're both, it's like a short story collection kind of. Um, I, I think this only has one uh, story in it. This one has two, if I remember correctly, but I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, super excited to have this and complete um, this series right here. Right, so the next series I'm really excited for, and that's School Rumble Volumes 10 and 12. I told you guys I'm gonna get a set of this soon, so uh, stay on the lookout for that. And yeah, this one was given to me by HVL Manga. Uh, she found these while she was out shopping, and she asked me if I wanted them, and I said yes, and just super shout out to her, because yeah, these I'm just super happy to find and she got them to me for a really good price so thank you so much HBO and then this next series came as a surprise to me and that's air gear volumes three four and volume 24 and this was given to me by my friend Donnie Donnie thank you so much uh I read the first two volumes and I really enjoyed them so I'm definitely glad to get some more of this so I can read some more and definitely try and get the rest of this series Next up, I have a series that was another recommendation, kind of. This is Dead Man Wonderland. I got five, six, seven, and eight. We got these in our last shop with me um, for a really good price. And one of our really good friends, Eron, this is in one of his like his like top 10 manga. So we said that we had to get it and read it and give it a chance. And I hear it's really, really good. So looking forward to finding the rest of the volumes. Um, I don't know if they're like out of stock right now or what's going on, but hopefully we're able to find them soon. All right, so next I'm gonna be doing a few single volumes that I have. So I got Devilman G or Grimoire volumes four and volumes five that we picked up in our shop with me. 
Uh, we also picked up volume one of Sayuki Reload. Uh, I need to find the rest of this, hopefully I can. Uh, then we got an ongoing with Blood on the Tracks volume six. This volume was, <laughs> I heard it made people uncomfortable, but um, I mean, this volume didn't make me as uncomfortable as some the, of the other volumes. Yeah, the earlier volumes. Uh, yeah, so that's all I gotta say on this one, but still really good series, definitely still ridiculous. <laughs> And then we got volume 14 of Assassination Classroom that finally came in from Right Stuff. We ordered this back in November. <laughs> yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, so thank you to Right Stuff for finally sending that out. And yeah. Next up, I have a couple different things. Also, the first one being Gate 7. This is a clamp series. Don't know anything about this series, but we're trying to pick up the clamp works so that we can read them all. Um, so this was three and four. As you can see, I got this on sale for $5 if it would. I don't know if it focused or not, but um, yeah, so super happy to see these. These um, spines and stuff look pretty cool, like the covers and everything. Um, then I got Dragon Head Volume 2 and Volume 7. Don't know anything about this series, but seeing a lot of people get reading it lately, so went ahead and grabbed these because they were cheap. <laughs> and then I got Vampire Knight. Um, would not recommend this series, but um, I had 1 through 16 that Tommy got me for my birthday last year and so I needed 17, 18, 19 to complete it and I think they're going out of print so um, that's why we picked these up so that I would have the whole series. Have not read it yet but I did watch the anime and uh, yeah definitely w probably wouldn't recommend but like I'm gonna read it anyways you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Alright so first off we got Jojo part 4 volume 9 which is the final volume of this part. And super happy to have this because that means for sure that part five is right around the corner and I'm so happy for that. Tom is not a big part four fan but he loves part five so. Yeah Killer Queen, Kira, that was definitely like some fire stuff though like no no love. Then we got QQ volume 10 and volume 11. Um, I'm only missing I believe three more volumes in this series and then I'll have it complete. Then we got The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Uh, I believe it's just this one volume so I think I have that done also. Plan to pick up the box set soon though. And then finally we have Heartbroken Angel part <coughs> excuse me, volume two. Uh this is a hardcover. I like the additions these are because like the flaps come off and like it has these really cool covers and then the inside. It's just super cool additions of this pulp series. Even though we hear the manga is really bad, so we're gonna read it and find out. Yeah, that's, I heard it's, it, somebody said it was the worst thing they've ever read, so we'll see real soon. <laughs> last up for me before we open this box is this little stack of manga right here first i have my love story volume one and uh, we just picked this up with another one like in a set of manga i don't remember what you bought this with but um yeah i like this i really like this uh story so i would like to get more of the manga i think i have volume six right now um so maybe i'll look into putting a full set of that then I have Warriors of Tao. Still don't know if this is a good series or not, but I was missing volume one, so I picked it up so now I can finally read it and find out. I had a cool synopsis, so. Then I got Mashal, Magic and Muscles. I hear this is really good, so excited to start this one. Say I Love You, volume 18. I was just missing this volume. Um, I didn't realize I was missing it, but um, I was, so here we go. And then GTO, The Early Years, um, volume one. So now I have one through four, I believe. And then the upper ones. And then the upper ones, but still working on this set. I'm being picky and trying to find ones that aren't creased, like the spine. So um, that's why I'm picking this up so slow. But we're getting there. We're getting there. All right, so now we have this right stuff box. I actually don't remember what was even in this, but um, this was what, the third week of the birthday sale, I believe? Yeah, I think so. And uh, it just came in, so let's get to it. Let's get to it. <laughs> you never cut in a straight line, but that's okay. Yeah, that was terrible. <laughs> Ah. Ah. all right so let me start let me start off um i got volume 13 of platinum end um i really like this series you know i get some hate but um it's really good i really like the covers too this is so cool super cool it's got one more volume right yeah one more volume and then it's complete so at 14 and then Yona of the Dawn volume 27. I was missing this volume, so I picked it up, um, I think for free shipping, so. <laughs> um, and I guess we'll just keep going until yeah, uh, so you it could, hits. You could go too, like. Okay, I mean, I'll, I'll go right now. We got, excuse me. Okay, we 
got Case Clothes Volume 77, 78, and 79. I figured I'd pick these up uh, in a set or like, you know, just like waiting to pick these up so that I can just buy them all at once. And I figured it'd be a good time to grab them right now. All right, then I got in G Life. This is by the same mangaka as Moon of the Dawn, which actually I did not realize until like recently. So these are the ones that were available on Right Stuff, three, four, five, and seven. And definitely we'll look into getting some more of these. I feel like I see these volumes around like at different stores and stuff. So we'll definitely be on the hunt for this series. Um, I think the rest, oh wait, oh my God. Also, we got Grand Blue Dreaming, volume 13. I was wondering why I didn't have it, but now I know. <laughs> <laughs> now you remember. Now I remember. And then I got Love Me, Love Me Not, volume six, seven, eight, and nine. Um, just caught back up with this series um, by Iyo Saki Saka that I was behind on. So I was able to get these for a good price. And we got Beastars, volume 13. Always glad to see, well, I'm not gonna say who that is on the cover, but you know, I love him. Great character right there. Great character. Super then cute. the rest of the manga is mine. So I got Perfect World Volume 6. This is a really good, um, I believe a Jose series um, about this girl in Sky in a wheelchair. Really, really good series. And then some more of Tommy's favorite series. Oh, brother. Scum's Wish. So three, five, six, and seven. Um, was that all the missing ones? Yeah, I think that makes it complete. So yeah, I think that was all the volumes that we were missing. So that would make it complete. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's it for our manga haul for July. If you made it this far, then thank you so much for watching. Yes, thank you so much. We uh, appreciate, excuse me, appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, as you saw, it was a lot of manga this month, but uh, I feel like we got through it pretty fast. Yeah, and I feel like uh, we got some good pickups, um, some series that we had been wanting, and then completing some other series that we had started a while ago. Uh, so this feels like a really good month, a really good, um, good feeling to complete a series. Yeah, for sure. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. We hope to see you guys in the next video. See you next time.